action figure fans, it's the one and only Optopotamus coming to you with another video review. And here I go, here I go, here I go again, boys, what's my weakness? Toys! Okay then, chillin', chillin', minding my business, I looked around and I saw the mailman. I swear, I stared, my cats were my witness. And what did he bring me? This guy! Alright, I'm done with the singing, but here we have the new Transformers Masterpiece Movie Series, number 5, of Barricade. For the package, you've got a really cool image of him in both of his vehicle and robot modes. You can see that here in North America, this is going to be a Toys R Us exclusive, and that's what that little sticker is. Hasbro's releasing it over here. I think Takara's releasing it over in their market. You got the Transformers logo there. You can see that it is an officially licensed Ford product. Got stuff here that I can't read. You, you can scan something here to win. I, I don't I don't know. Go ahead. Scan it, but you got the Transformer Masterpiece series. You got his car. You got his robot on the back You got more images of him in his robot vehicle mode. You can see that like I said, it's an officially licensed product This is a saline s281 which I'm not a big Mustang fan So I don't really know what that is uh, and then it shows his uh, I guess kind of features is he's got a movable faceplate So he can be like are you user ladies man one two three four five six seven? Whatever, are you? Right, I, I don't even know what, blah, 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 that, whatever. This, this is, this is my mascot. That, I'm going to use that from now on. Hello, little hand man. <laughs> I'm way too hyper right now. And then he's got a rotor blade weapon. But uh, the packaging is fairly small. For comparison, now uh, here is the new Masterpiece Sunstreaker. And you can see that uh, it's a, well, it's actually a little bit longer. You can see a little bit longer and a little bit taller, but it is definitely thinner uh, by a little bit so roughly the same size but uh, for the packaging on this guy that's about it so without further ado let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is all right so here we have the new masterpiece movie series barricade open up out of its packaging and obviously as you can see in his vehicle mode now starting off first with his accessories um this is it uh, it, it comes with a display stand. It's his little swirly spike thing of death uh, that swirls and that's it. You can kind of see that it replicates uh, a tire of sorts. You got the front and back of it and it's like this is the, how it would have transformed out of a tire. And then you can see this is going to attach to it. And I'll show how to attach it here. But it swirls and spins and spins and swirls and and that's it and he comes with the display stand which or it comes with the display stand which i i feel like it's i don't know if i'm putting it in here wrong but it, it feels like it's going in on an angle uh and not really straight so i don't know exactly if i have this <laughs> positioned properly uh it's kind of weird um it's like it should be there and then it doesn't go down straight it just kind of goes in on an angle and, and it's whatever uh, i don't know why he needs to have a display stand for this other than you know just having that there hey hey look you know it's cool i guess whatever i don't know uh, but here he is in his vehicle mode now one thing that is really very nice is there's a good heft to this uh there's several pieces of die cast the first one that you're going to be able to really feel in vehicle mode is right here uh, he also has a little bit here in his foot, and then there's a little bit more in here. But there is some good heft to this guy. Uh, really very nice. Uh, for a comparison, here is with the movie masterpiece Bumblebee. And they both have a good level of weight to it, which I do really appreciate. Definitely gives it a more masterpiece sort of feel. While I got Bumblebee out here, uh, taking a look at the comparison. Oh, I get that slide in in there uh, you can see that they're roughly the exact same size which is perfect yeah you stand them up there and you can see that a uh, barricade is a little bit longer than bumblebee which i don't know if that's accurate in terms of uh, of sailing mustang compared to a camaro not sure but you can see that they they really do scale very nicely and then at the wheels they're just about uh, identical where the uh, the wheels are. Maybe a little bit different, but overall really very, very nice. And I'll do a comparison in robot mode. He nicely scales with them in his robot form as well. And then just uh, for another comparison, the quintessential best version that we've gotten a barricade up to this point has always been the Human Alliance one. And the Human Alliance one is 
a little bit bigger, uh, both in terms of width here, as you can see, as well as uh, length. He is definitely a little bit longer. You can see he's also a little bit taller of a vehicle. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to come across. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see that he's a little bit taller. So he does have a bigger presence. Now, there are some things that I really like about this that this doesn't do. And there's some things that I really like about this that this doesn't do. Uh, the biggest thing is I don't like this crack uh, that goes through here. I mean, it kind of breaks up that door. This is a much cleaner look to it. It's a little bit unfortunate. There's a lot more accuracy in terms of paint applications. Uh, both have to punish and enslave that you can see on there. I kind of like this one a little bit more. It's a little bit thinner and not as prominent as this, which isn't a bad thing. I, I just think that this is hidden. A little more you can also see that the back section here has uh, emergency 911 response 643 whereas this one does not have it uh, the Decepticon logo here uh, is a bluish kind of a metallic blue if you, it'll focus on it there you go you can see it's a nice metallic blue whereas the human Alliance one is uh, purple uh, that's not a bad thing because, you know, Decepticons are purple, you know, with their logos and stuff. Uh, but obviously, this is a little bit more movie accurate. Uh, the other thing that I'm noticing in that I kind of like on the original Human Alliance is you got 643 in the front. That's not on here. That's a little bit more accurate, obviously, but I, I kind of like that. So there are some trade-offs in terms of paint applications. Really nice headlights. You can kind of see a, a bluish tint on the inside there have a little bit of uh, a bronze color if it'll again focus a little bit of bronze coloring right there uh, pretty much the same throughout the entire thing the 643 on uh, here that this is lacking uh, you do have this little button which is gray which activated his little spring out spinny thing which is incorporated a little bit better in this guy than it is this. I mean, that's a whole separate piece, but I mean, that does make it look a little bit more accurate. Uh, but it kind of blended in as uh, his gas cap sort of thing. So I, I, I kind of like that. Uh, you look at the top section here, and uh, you have a little bit more thin of a uh, police light bar on there. I kind of like what they did with this one a little bit more. It's a little bit bigger. And I think just looks a little bit better. Uh, 643. Uh, the numbers on here are much larger than the numbers on here, but I think that's mostly because the, the light bar is a, a different size. You got police written on the back there. That's a little bit bigger as well. Uh, basically the exact same thing in terms of the overall look. Uh, you can see that he still has his little feet hanging out there uh, you can also see here on the back you have uh, different license plates i'm not 100 percent certain which one is more accurate what does this actually say this is oklahoma i, I think so what does that say oklahoma to you guys if it focuses kind of looks like it says oklahoma honestly i, I have no idea but uh, different license plate says saline you got the 643 both on the human alliance one as well as the new one but i do like how the exhaust pipes on the new guy do uh, have some nice silver paint whereas that one doesn't uh, the one thing that i really think that this does a lot better is you because this is a human alliance uh, i mean it, it it fits a little bit more okay get that okay uh, you can see that the obviously the human alliance one has opening doors and you had seats in there uh, what that results in is a really clean looking uh, car area you you can see that there's like no robot junk you have a whole bunch of robot junk inside here that uh, really does kind of mess things up with, with the overall look so i feel that the human alliance one makes that look a little bit better uh, and the other thing is Human Alliance comes with, I don't know, let's see, can I actually, I don't, I haven't done this in so long, I'm trying to remember if I can actually do it, uh, you open that, uh, well, uh, it's definitely something that you can see in the, uh, the robot mode a little bit more, but, kinda, know, again, I'm trying to see, but you have Frenzy that this guy comes with, uh, the new one, doesn't come with frenzy at all uh, it just comes with that uh, for his accessory which again very unfortunate because i think that frenzy 
and Barricade kind of go together, uh, especially when you look at how they were kind of partners in the movie itself. Uh, so it's very unfortunate that this guy does not come with it. Uh, there is a little, you know, you can slide that down and stuff. Uh, so I, I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Also, I feel like it's a missed opportunity that they don't have the little pieces that can come out or, or some way to attach the kind of interrogation thing that came out of the headlights and stuff and kind of deployed from the front of him when he was kind of threatening Sam in the very beginning. So I feel like they could have did more with this guy. I mean, the, you know, kibble up in the, uh, the window area doesn't really bother me all that much. Uh, I think that it looks better on the Human Alliance one. And ultimately, I think that the Human Alliance vehicle looks better than the new movie masterpiece vehicle. But this is still a really nice looking toy nonetheless. Could it be better? Yeah, but it's in general fairly decent. Now, to transform them, well, yes, there is a certain degree of complexity to this guy. If you have that Human Alliance figure, there's going to be a lot of elements to this that are going to be very familiar to you. Now, starting off first, uh, I don't know why they want you to do this, because uh, what's weird is, I, I don't know if I've ever seen the back of Barricade, but they have you fold these down. It splits out, and then you fold it down. It, it's strange. I don't know. Then come around here to the side. You basically kind of wiggle these doors free and kind of pull them away from the body like that and then you can kind of just pull everything here uh, along the side and then th that's probably going to pop off if it does just bring that up that's going to make things a lot easier come down here split this and then pull away here so take this section here in the back kind of pull the back fender here you want to pull that away and now it's probably going to explode everything but just pull that all out just like that and the tire will probably flop back it's normal you'll play with that here in a little bit pull this kind of get this out of the way pull this away get that little window section out of the way and you can fold all of this out well, let's see here what's going on underneath here underneath here there we go pull that all out just like that we're going to come down here to the legs we'll worry about the arms kind of rotate those get that out of the way and you can take these kind of just fold this you kind of have to this one aspect that i don't particularly like you kind of have to pull this away to get it to go over that little area it doesn't feel like it's going to damage it i just don't necessarily like pulling things to get out of the way of something else. That's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, split these legs if you haven't already and they're gonna kinda angle up here but we'll fiddle with that here in a bit. Take this, rotate this around like so and then you've got a little slot along the back of his leg that is gonna come up and this pushes in and then you can fold this around just like that. Fold the foot down, fold the little spike out. Really very easy. So again, bring this up, you can rotate this fit that whole back spoiler into the back of his leg, rotate this piece around like that, bring this piece down, fold this piece out just like so. And you have his legs basically done. We'll fiddle with the uh, hip area here in a bit, but that's basically it. Come around here to this, fold this down. In doing so, you will uh, probably see that what you basically do here is fold that down and then these little pieces almost automorph up into the kind of angry position and you can position those a little bit more aggressive in terms of the bend for it it's your personal preference do whatever you want and then take this again this is probably going to get in the way so just kind of swivel this get that out fold this piece back this little top section folds down and then this comes up and this will clip into place along the back we'll again fiddle with that here in a bit take this rotate all this down and then you bring this section around get that out of the way like that you can bring his head up we'll fiddle with all that here in a bit uh, you do have a little tab uh, you have this whole structure here which is made out of die cast you got a little tab on the back that will slot into that little gray section there the problem though because that's die cast and that's plastic it's not a very secure fit so angle this get that out of the way Oh, before you do that, I'm sorry. You have these little shoulder sections. You can kind of see the little silver pin here and here. You want to rotate where that pin is 
around, kind of rotating his shoulder forward into the proper position. Push that all the way forward, and then you can bring this in, and this whole bit here, get that kind of out of the way, this whole bit here will accordion, and like I said, you got that little tab that's going to come in and uh, lock things down, Get his, keep his head up. So, angle this down, in and all and this is going this is before you collapse all that you should bring these legs out so swivel these out and then hinge that down swivel at the hip and then rotate down up at the upper section and then when you do that that should create the clearance to bring this up and tab that down along the back so again you have all that accordion into place swivel his arms around you can position his head. We'll fiddle with all that here in a bit. Take these little back sections. You kind of want to slide these here. I guess it's personal preference if you want to have this collapsed closer to the body or if you want to leave it out and you can have more of an exaggerated wing look. Uh, I think it looks a little bit better if you just keep it like so. Come around here to the arms. Now these arms are really very, very cool how they transform. Uh, first what you want to do, rotate these wheels around and then this section here, you want to rotate this around as well. And as you rotate or bring that out, then spin right here at what I guess could be his ankle. This part can be a little bit tricky because you've got these three little prongs on the back side of his hand that when you rotate it you have to line it up with the little gaps in the tire that can be a little bit tricky to do um, just kind of rotate and slide that around until you, you feel it grab in and then just give that a nice solid push and lock that into place um, again it's a little bit tricky to to get that position properly and I don't know if there's a specific uh, group that these are supposed to tab into but I'm having a problem there we go so when you do that'll sit flush there and then you can fiddle with these fingers as much as you want come around here to this section this little blue bit here it's a little bit tricky to grab that fold this piece out and then collapse this up and filling in that gap come to the tire this whole area is going to swivel down a little and then rotate and sit along the back side. Then take the uh, elbow area, and this is on a double hinge that you need to um, take this little piece right here. We're going to rotate that part. Use that double hinge to bring this up, and then as you bring it in, it all collapses and locks into place there. So you've got one arm basically done. And then this, again, you can fold that. You can position this. It's all personal preference on how you want to position this little guy do it as, as you see fit so again on this side rotate the tire the tire was right there it probably will flop back so just fold that out there well, if i can do it right there we go it's on a little sliding thing so when you bring it out it will naturally just like drop then bring this out rotate this section around then again try lining up those little tabs with the tire and it can be tricky um as i said i don't know if it's i don't know i don't think it has a specific order that it needs to go in it's just tricky to kind of see where everything fits uh, fold this little intersection here out it goes only on an angle so don't try to pull it completely at a 90 degree angle you can see that it's angled up then fold that up and in there take the uh, side panel rotate this Sit that along the side, bring this whole section up on that double hinge and then push that in, locking that into place. You can fold this, bring that down. And now you're just kind of cleaning things up for the overall look. Uh, what you can do, you can angle this, this little piece right here uh, is on like a separate little swivel. And then you can fiddle with the head. You can bring it all the way forward if you want. Uh, a little bit more of an accurate look has it kind of push back more uh, along that way and then just kind of keep that up where his chin does kind of droop down in that area but uh, it, it does create a, a better look for him so fiddling with that you can take these little side skirt things you can flare those out creating a little bit more of an aggressive look for him kind of fiddle with these feet playing with that a little 
And uh, that's it. When you're done, there you have Barricade in his really cool, very accurate looking robot mode. <laughs> wow, did they do a great, great job with this. Well, the Human Alliance, in terms of vehicle mode, I think it stands out and shines. Robot mode, without question, uh, this guy wins. It just is a much more accurate representation of how the character looked in, in the early part of the franchise before he uh, changed in, in the, the later movies. Uh, this guy, though, is really uh, wicked awesome looking. Now, uh, for his uh, accessory here, you kind of, to, to attach it, you kind of have to transform his arm back to the way that it was. So uh, first, we're going to detach this section and hinge that down just like that. That's going to, I'm gonna try doing this and getting him to stand in the process. Take this, open this up, and then tuck that piece down. You uh, then detach, uh, tuck in his little finger, detach the, the hand part, rotate that all the way around, and that's going to go back up just like so, and uh, kinda sit along there. Take the wheel, bring that up, kinda slide that up, That'll lock into place like that. And make sure you get this all the way collapsed up and in. There we go. Uh, keep that like so. And then kind of leave that there. I don't think you actually do anything with that. I think that stays down like that. And then you have a little slot section right inside here that this little piece is going to hook onto. So you just bring that around and Give that a little push there, kind of swoop in and hook that on there. And well, if I can get it to do it, there we go. Well, bring that around, bring that around, and squeeze that in there. And there you go. And uh, there you have, oh, and then you take this section and then you collapse this back up and lock that down here we go it doesn't stay all that securely attached uh, that's one part that is a little unfortunate so just kind of wedge that in there but it does look really very cool when, when you have that on there uh, it does have the little spinning thing on there and is definitely more uh, accurate to you know that spinny blade mace type of weapon that he used uh, to battle bumblebee if you remember when uh that epic battle took place between bumblebee and him when they kind of first i guess met uh, so you do have that um it, it is what it is uh, so taking that off put that off to the side and then uh, again to go back you just basically transform this entire thing the way that it was rotate this around kind of line these little grooves up with the uh, inner wheel section there which can be tricky to do because uh, like i said you got three different tabs right there you got to line up so bring that up bring this piece back out fold this up and then hinge this back up and lock that into place like so that came down so put that back up just like so uh, so there's his uh his weapon um in terms of storage i don't think he really has any storage for it um and even if he did it's not gonna look very good so just kind of throw that off to the side get that there uh, now for the uh, comparisons let's get that out of the way here he is and uh, bringing in the previous uh, what i consider the best version of him here we have the human alliance guy and you can see that uh he, he does he is a little bit smaller whereas the, the human alliance in terms of vehicle mode they were about the same size uh he was a little bit bigger but you can see that he's just a lot more streamlined now uh, it, it has a much more organic clean look to him than this guy now granted uh, you do have a lot of extra things because of the uh, human alliance gimmick uh, there are a couple extra features in here one of which being as i talked about frenzy uh getting him out if if i can I mean, he's kind of problematic to get out here just angle that down there we go and he detaches um i i, I do wish that they included one uh, with the uh, the new guy. Uh, I mean, I guess it's not that bad. I suppose I can use this 
as uh, uh, just a, a, a figure for it. Uh, it feels kind of flimsy, honestly. Is that rotating around? I mean, th th this was his little human alliance guy. Uh, so I suppose uh, worst case scenario, uh, I can just set this little dude, if he'll stand there. Yeah, it's very flimsy legs. So, <laughs> see, stand. I guess I can just use that with him. Uh, I, I'm not going to really display this guy anymore, but uh, I can use this, I suppose. So, getting him out of here. And here he is with Bumblebee. And again, like I was saying before, uh, size wise, these guys match really very nicely. One thing that I'm very curious about I know that we are getting a, a couple other of the movie. Uh, figures in terms of a masterpiece sort of thing and I know that Ironhide has been shown Ironhide should be bigger uh, than these guys and what I mean you can see he's still a little bit floppy so I'm curious to see how big he's going to be in comparison to these guys because Ironhide should be a little bit taller and hopefully that's the case as of right now the leader one is still my opinion uh, the the best kind of scaled one but you can see that these guys do scale very very nicely together first articulation in robot mode uh, the head uh, depending on how you position it like I said it, it's a matter of personal preference how you want to get at me you can have it extended all the way forward I guess you could do that and you're like are you user man or are you user ladies man 217 you can pop that out and do that you can set it back a little bit more which looks a little bit better and then uh, obviously like I said you can lift this little bit up to create that kind of angry look here in the front so you do have a ball joint here which is really very very nice uh, the mouth does open so uh, I could scream and it's not going to focus but there you go kind of wish he had light piping uh, to be honest I uh, don't know why they didn't put light piping in all oh, maybe they did no no I just kind of looks like the eyes are painted so it's hard to tell and I don't see anything here in the back, uh, but gorgeous head sculpt uh, coming in real nice uh, paint applications on there. You can see the nice blue, silver, gold in there as well. Uh, for his uh, shoulders here, these are on nice ratchet joints. These little bits here are a little bit loose and a little floppy, as I mentioned. Um, so you, that'll probably get messed up. So you do have nice ratchet joints moving in and out. Uh, this part here can articulate a little and you can get the arms to swivel out. But because of this, it kind of gets in the way. So you almost kind of move this to get a more extended range of motion with it. So again, I guess it's a matter of personal preference where you want to line this up. I don't necessarily, I think this is the proper place for it. So, I mean, let me see, that really doesn't do much. And I don't see any other pegging points. So just kind of getting those out of the way. So you do have that so you can swivel it however you want. Uh, you do have a elbow joint. It does move forward and back as well. Uh, come down to the wrist. It kind of is locked into place here. Uh, you. you kind of can just force it around uh, but the fingers themselves you can see the thumb is on that joint that can swivel out nicely and then the individual finger well not the individual just the three fingers are on another little swivel uh, good paint detail on there as well with the silver for the tips and then black obviously you have that uh, on the other arm as well you do have a swivel uh, you kind of have to lift this back a little bit move that all the way around these little pieces can flex out giving him a little spiky doodads got nice very soft ratchets for the hips moving in and out a little bit harder going or well uh, forward and back i should say then you got uh, very nice sturdy ratchets going in and out he does rotate on a swivel at the upper part of the thigh the knee has a nice clickety clackety ratchet the ankles here you can see you have a bit of a tilt for it uh, it comes on an angle and then you can move it forward and back as well uh, in terms of the die cast uh, the torso bit right here i think it was that had die cast uh the feet have die cast in them uh the uh, back what was it the back section uh yeah the, the whole torso bit right here has uh die cast in there as well so get that collapsed back in there oh, and i just popped all that right back down so like again again like i was talking about in the uh, vehicle mode there's a good level of heft this guy he feels very solid which is really very nice and he also stands really well uh, unlike bumblebee who had a tendency to want to lean back the uh, joints right here are nice and sturdy which is wonderful i love that but overall 
gorgeous look to them a really nice color you got blue bits throughout the entire thing some nice silver paint added into the various areas uh, i guess like this little bit right here is a little bit ugly as you got a very nice black paint and then you got kind of like this dark gray right there it's a little bit ugly i, I, I suppose but overall i mean really stellar looking uh this it's part of the transformation but it, it's weird that they rotate i don't know why you need to do it. it i mean you don't actually need to you can leave it up if, if you really wanted to but that's part of the transformation i don't remember ever seeing the back of barricade to know if that's accurate but and whatever uh, he does have the little peg hole thing here uh, i don't have any of those display stands uh, that a lot of people do use uh, for their kind of posing and flight poses and things like that bumblebee had it as well uh, so it's nice to see that that's something that carries over here with Barricade. Uh, I just can't r really display that for you. Um, that's something that you guys can do if you really want to. But uh, in general, again, a stellar, stellar figure. Uh, I really am impressed by the, by the engineering and design of this figure. It, it, it just came across very nice. And one thing that I do want to mention is I kind of complained about them not having the the, the number. What is that number? I forgot his number. 643. Uh, how that's not there. In terms of the movie accuracy in vehicle mode, he did have that in the movie. But in robot mode, it went away. So I think they got rid of it to give a, a more accurate look uh, for robot mode. Uh, it, it, it seems like their main purpose on a lot of these figures is to nail the robot mode. And when it comes to barricade, I think that they did. Now, transformation back to the vehicle mode is probably the more difficult of the two, but it's really not that bad. First, what we're going to do, we're going to detach kind of everything here in the arms. Uh, make sure you take the thumb, push that all the way up, and then pull this section away from the tire. And we're going to, I guess you can hinge this piece all the way down just like that. Take this, open this up, and then take the little blue section here, tuck that up and in. Bring this piece back and then rotate it around and just kind of push it along the underside here. Come around here to the tire. You need to bring this around and then make sure you slide this up to uh, get this over here. Well, and then so you get that down out of the way. Bring this up and over and then give that a little push. It'll lock into place. Then take this, bring this away and rotate this section around and just kind of line it up along that side panel and just like leave it like that do that on this side as well so we're going to bring the thumb in kind of straighten everything out separate the uh, fingers from the tire section bring this down oh i forgot again extend that all the way out like so now you can bring this up and rotate that around doesn't matter when you do it you just do it fold this push this all the way down and then bring this piece back and again, rotate that around and tuck that right up there. And then bring this around. Make sure you slide the little gimmick or the tire section up. Bring that around and that will lock into place just like that. And then you can take these. You can collapse this. You can bring all this kind of there. You're going to have to line that all up anyhow. Slide this piece up. Bring this around. And this around kind of line all that up along the side and rotate that around just like so and kind of angle these get these out of the way fold those down come down here to the legs take this little bit you're going to tuck this down just like that separate this move that around so you can see what i'm doing fold this piece back and then angle this down and rotate that so that it's along the side so again fold this piece out like so Bring the whole foot up. Make sure you take the spike, tuck that away. Bring that there. Bring this piece down and then rotate that around and kind of sit it there. Come down here to these. Make sure you push these down. If you had them kind of flexed out like that, just push them down like that. And then angle all this. Make sure. Now this part can get a little bit tricky in making sure that you have everything positioned right. You want to swivel this down and straighten all of this and bring these two sections together make sure that this is all the way there and then you can squeeze these two parts together like so 
kind of swivel that around make sure that that's straight and you want to make sure that you get this as lined up best as possible where the feet are going to be kind of flush with this section that way when everything comes back this isn't dangling down which could be potentially a problem if you had uh, this not completely straightened so then you can bring these arms down that's kind of where everything's going to be anyhow yeah fold that around like that take this whole section loosen this and you can pull this piece up yeah, there we go hinge this all the way back you can fold this section out like that fold this back uh, now I'm not gonna tuck this in uh, it's a little bit easier to do it at the very end and I'll show you that here in a bit so swivel, swivel this all the way back and yeah, let's see pull this all the way out there we go so detach that and swivel this around and they're going to straighten all that and hinge that right there when you have that like that take his head tuck that back and down like so fitting in this little area here and put it there so it's going to fit inside that kind of section right in there there we go make sure that this piece here on his chest that gets pushed down you can straighten out these little bits as best as you can for right now and then come down here to the uh, little slidey section for the shoulders and this is going to swivel back there you go so again do it on this and then swivel that back just like so and then you again keep that kind of up like that so now you have these little silver bits here kind of pointing up you can kind of fold that around these little bits get a little bit tricky but pull that all up there line that up and then get this out of the way and oops all right take these make sure you swivel these all the way back on that little hinge and then you can bring this piece up and over his head this does get a little bit tricky as i was showing before you kind of have to stretch it and wedge it around the outer sections which is a little unfortunate take this piece i'm going to rotate this around and then in the process straighten out these uh keep that down and then straighten out the little bumper section like that you bring that up like so again leave that flopping around there so then bring these back and around again we're going well no actually leave these out because you have to bring these tires around this it, it, it does get a little bit bumpy right here so then hinge this back kind of similar to the human alliance one and you want to make sure that these uh, fingers are basically going to be in the uh, the seated area for them so again do that on this side here fold this kind of there fold that there and there we go and we're bringing everything together you can see you're getting some kind of semblance of a car collapse that all the way in these little pieces here do get a little bit problematic so if you need to kind of wedge these out and push that all the way in as much as you can and then there fold that there we go come on Make sure that that piece is all the way out so you can see that he does get a little bit fiddly going back like i said uh, a lot of times with transformers you guys know this uh, going one way is usually much easier than going another way and this is where you're kind of just trying to fight with things and get the various panels to kind of line up let's see if that makes it a little bit easier if i peg that in here in the back peg these two sections in that and there we go yeah that gets a little bit easier pull that down there we go there we are oh well getting that that done the tab in there we go put that along the side so you just kind of fiddle with the uh, the panels here along the side till you get everything kind of pull that back bring that in line that you know one thing that would actually fix this uh, I, I was talking about the like the crack here if this was painted on uh, the inside here if that black 
there uh, was painted that would kind of hide that uh, on both sides here so maybe i'll do that myself that's a pretty good suggestion paul good job so then you bring that and then you take this bring this swivel this down and you tuck that in then you push that all down like so you can rotate this around and boom there you have barricade back in his vehicle mode overall though i am very happy with how this turned out vehicle mode wise like i said i do think is the weaker of the two modes but that's not to say that this is bad at all i'm just comparing it to that human alliance one which did a little bit better job of i guess looking good the biggest i guess the offense would be like this crack that goes through there and then the kibble through there but i mean other than that that's really not that much to complain about it's just kind of nitpicky i guess but it is definitely something that people will notice and you know make the comparison the transformation well yes complex has a lot of very similar elements that that original human alliance one had so transforming this guy well yes can be challenging has a certain degree of familiarity to it one thing that i do wish uh, he came with would be like i said a little frenzy guy now uh, the human alliance one did uh, even if they didn't make this incorporate in the figure it, it would have been nice to have uh, a little standalone guy because this by itself just i mean guess you can't complain that much i mean this is bigger than the accessory that we got with bumblebee uh which was just his little arm cannon but i don't know i i feel like they could have given us this little dude but the robot mode is where i think this guy absolutely shines and really does you know separate himself from that human alliance guy it's really fun to get this character in a more updated kind of design and just better engineering sometimes it takes a little while but they really did nail this guy and as i said i'm really curious to see what they're going to do with the other figures optimus prime was really good i still think that the revenge of the fallen one is better the bumblebee is outstanding this guy here turned out really very good and up next is ironhide and there have been teases of a lot of other figures so i'm really excited to see this line continue but as for barricade here i absolutely recommend him if you're a fan of the michael bay movies this is definitely a wonderful addition to your collection so all that being said if the masterpiece movie series version of barricade is a figure that you'd like to add to your collection as i said this does appear to be a toys r us exclusive here in north america so if you're looking for him good luck and happy hunting but beyond that guys that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Don't forget that if you like this video, I would really appreciate you letting me know by hitting that thumbs up button. It actually does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, welcome. And before you go, make sure you subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you're already subscribed, we all know just how unreliable that YouTube subscription box is, and the best way to make sure that you don't miss any future reviews of mine is to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And as always, until next time, to all are one.